Hi everyone, okay, so I'm making this uh, video to uh, try and show how to join a Skype for Business meeting uh, from a Mac. Now, it's important to note that the steps on Windows will be different to this, uh, so I'll create another video to explain how to do that uh, on Windows. So for now, this is just for Mac. Now, I'm using uh, the Outlook app, which is installed on my Mac, as you can see here. Um, and I've received a meeting invite from, in this case, Martin, who is just helping me out with this. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, is accept this invite. Um, now, it's important that you accept the invite because it tells the courts that you have received the invite and that you are planning to attend. Otherwise, they will not know that this is the case. Uh, now, it's important to just mention as well that you could do this from either the Outlook app uh, that I have installed, um, as, as I do now, or um, you could do it through the web app or through your calendar, uh, through the app that you have installed on your mobile. Um, so what I'll do is I'll click accept on this invite. Um, and there'll be a couple of options um, and the options will be respond with comments, respond without comments or do not send a response. Now, I recommend sending a response without comments. Um, this is probably the best option to send the response back to the courts. Now, you'll see that the meeting will invite will disappear from your emails. Uh, this is completely normal because it will it will disappear from there and it will pop into your calendar at this point. So now I'll go to the calendar. And you'll see I click on the meeting um, and it will show me the information about the meeting, the title of the meeting, the person who's uh, invited me and the fact that I've accepted. Now, you can either click this uh, symbol here to uh, to open up the meeting and see it in more detail. Or alternatively, you can actually double click the meeting in your calendar and it'll bring up the same screen. Now from in here, again, you'll see all the information. And what I'm gonna do is click join Skype meeting. Now clicking on this link will actually take me to a web page. Now it's opened up a web page and it's gonna say, it's all set, your meeting is going to open. Now it's not gonna open um, because you don't have Skype for Business ready and installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button here that says reinstall Skype for business. I'm just going to click that and what it's going to do is start to download. As you can see here, now I'm going to click on the download that's just completed up there. If for any reason that doesn't show up, uh, once it's completed, you can actually go to your downloads, as I have here, and click on the download package. In the installer, I'm just going to click continue, continue again, and agree. It's going to come up with an install, and I'm going to hit install. Um, it will be default for your thing, so you shouldn't need to change anything. Um, and actually, it's saying that Outlook needs to be closed. I'm going to click close Outlook and install. At that point, it's going to come up with a password box. I'm going to fill in my password. This is the password for your Mac. It's going to step through. It's going to come up with a, a settings, so I'm going to hit OK. And the screen will flash on and off as it installs, and it's finished. And it's going to close. It's going to ask me if I want to move the installer to the bin. I'm going to do that just to tidy up. OK, so now that's installed, what I'm actually going to do is close this web page. And the reason I'm doing that is just to get it to, to pick up the new program that I've installed. So I go and reopen Outlook. I've actually opened the wrong meeting here, so I'm just closing that. I'm going to go and open up the meeting and I'm going to click on join Skype meeting. Now you see at the top this time a box has appeared to say, do you want to launch the Skype for, beating, uh, Skype for Business meeting? So I'm going to click the box to always open and then I'm going to click allow. Now it's going to pop up with a Skype for Business box for the meeting. Now, 
in the right, it's asking me if I want to allow notifications. I'm going to click allow just so that I, uh, I always get notified if there's anything important inside Skype for Business. Um, and then I'm going to enter my name in this box as a guest. I'm always going to enter as a guest. You do not want to sign in. Um, always just join as a guest. Put your name in and join as a guest, even if you have Skype for Business license or anything, just join as a guest. I'm going to click join as a guest. And it's going to open up the call. This back screen is the call. I've got no video uh, because I'm on a desktop and I have no webcam. But the button on the left here will allow you to turn on and off your video. Um, if it's black at the beginning, you'll have to turn it on. Um, this button here will allow you to mute or unmute the microphone on your end and the red button to hang up the call once you're done.